Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to my new Donkin Ropa Let's Play. This is the Love Across the Universe Donkin Salmon Team Let's Play. My goodness, what a mouthful that is. So this is the post-game social mini mode, I guess, that usually happens in the Donkin Ropa games. So I am just looking forward to getting to hang out with these characters. I'm not ready to let them go just yet. So let's get into it. Kaede! Kaede! That's a good start. We get Kaede back. Shuichi, are you okay? Hey, Shuichi! Shuichi? I wonder, do I get do I get to play as Kaede, or am I still playing as Shuichi? I'm guessing Shuichi. That's me. Kaede is calling my name. Where am I? What am I doing here? Uh, um... I remember I was on my way to school, like always. When suddenly I... I was pushed into a car. Before I even figured out what was happening, I lost consciousness. That's right, this is the Ultimate Academy, and we... We are... The 16 high school students with ultimate talents. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I'm curious now that I know, like, how the game ended. Uh, does this also happen in this fictional world? These guys actually do have the ultimates. Uh, ultimate talents, they are ultimates as far as they know. And then... The Monocubs. They ordered us to investigate the grounds. Oh, good to see her back, though. Huh? Was that the bell? She is like the first person I want to hang out with, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Kaede, look at the monitor. Oh. Um, well, you know what? If I get Kaede back, I don't mind dealing with these guys again. You bastards! Kept you bastards waiting, huh? All right. Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin. Phew. We finally finished our preparations. Hey. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So long, farewell! So this is like if they're in the fictional world, and this is like if, instead of a killing game, the audience wanted, like, a dating simulator. <laughs> Gym? Opening ceremony. Uh, um... Kaede, what should we do? Um... What else should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. Uh, okay. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Honestly, it was more than a little. Despite my trepidation, we headed toward the gym. When we arrived, an eerie sound greeted our ears. It reminded me of an engine sound from a giant robot anime. And right at that moment... We got the gang back together. Good to know, though, knowing certain characters, there's certain characters like Samugi that I don't really want to hang out with knowing, you know, the real story. But I guess this takes place in like an alternate version of that. Just stay back. Oh, Gonta! Everyone behind Gonta! What? what the heck are these monsters? Wow! Whoa, so cool! Hell yeah! So this is like just like the opening part, huh? They're Exosols, uh, highly mobile bipedal weapon platform. They got lots of hometown pride, too. Fucking bitch! <laughs> and Mew. Whatever they are, they better kill off the Uggos and save me for last. So that means... Run, Himiko! Cut it out! <laughs> Himiko's like, bitch, I made it through to the end of the game, so, uh, whatever. You can insult me all you want. Why are you so concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way... Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? Don't screw around! <laughs> Kaito. What the hell? Nobody told me about these. I'm sorry, but... And Rantaro, oh, I'm definitely gonna hang out with Rantaro as well. Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. I can't wait to learn more about, like, the characters I never really got to hang out with. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. As he spoke, Rantaro casually approached the monstrous machine. Then... So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess, you're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. Hey. Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that! Huh, well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up, here's what we want you punk asses to do. 
Ha! My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah, it's a... It's a killing game. No, no it's not though. It's not a killing game. No. What? <laughs> Monodom, how dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second, what did you say? Huh? If I heard him correctly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's not happening. Huh? <laughs> My cute little cubs, I'm canceling this killing game. <laughs> oh, Monica was like, we've done 53 of those already. The audience is getting bored. Let's do something else. Father! Father, is that you? Papa Kuma! Hey. Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Huh? Daddy? Suddenly, a spotlight cut through the gym. Another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Hey, hey! Whoa, first of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. <laughs> and show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. What? Headmaster. This is... It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with built-in AI like me. Dong, dong, dong! Yeah, but... The Exocells are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right! They're mindless killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monocubs. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. <laughs> Good to see Ryoma again. He's another cool guy that I missed. No. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Yeah? Oh, you don't need to worry about that. I've decided to cancel the killing game. Yeah? Cancel? Can the stress of milking this series finally make you snap, father? Don't worry, Papa Kuma. I'll help you relax. By making a monodom sandbag. I, see. I don't like violence or gore, so I don't really mind if it's cancelled. Pops must be lying. Are you stupid? He must have a glitch. It's bound to happen when you get to be his age. <laughs> nope, your father has never had a single glitch. Glit, glit, glit. Oh. Glit, glit, glit. <laughs> gl gl glitch in my life. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? You're like a kid covered in frosting who swears he didn't touch the cake. Pops. Classic Pops. His pride is higher than the Eiffel Tower. Be quiet. Anyway, I've decided to cancel the killing game. And I've never glitched. I'm a professional, damn it. Then. So what are we supposed to do then? There's no way you just let us go after all this. <laughs> May I? What is so amusing? Yeah. It's just, when I said it again, I kind of just phoned it in and now I feel awkward. Now then. There's only one thing I want you to do in this mode. In this mode, <laughs> I just want you to have a fun time living at the Academy. Yay, happy music. Huh? Huh? What? Mode? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. It's an inside joke. Anyway, as long as you guys have a fun life at the Academy, that's all right by me. <laughs> You're at that special age where it doesn't take much to get your hormones raging. Hmm. Um, I don't get that point. Here. We all have the ingredients for a reality dating show, you see. There's always one show like that on the air at any given time, you know. Let me explain. Like a bunch of guys and gals living under one roof, getting the hots for each other. The audience just eats it up, watching to see who's going to end up with who. That's what I want for you guys. I want you to star in your own reality dating show. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. It's like the killing game has been getting a little old, a little stale. 53 episodes, they've kind of run out of things to do, so dating game instead. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. Why we gotta do that? Hi, hello! Yep, that kind of stock reaction is to be expected. Hey. But if you've looked around the Academy, then you already know, don't you? The Academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. 
And as long as we have the Exosols, you can't defy us. So I'm wondering if it's like the second one where I could kind of date, quote unquote, multiple people. Because if I can only choose one, it's Kaede. Like, bar none. And if I have to go with the second person, I'd say Rantaro because they're the two characters I know the least about. Because I like to thank Shuichi. He doesn't judge, you know, guy, girl, whatever. Whatever floats his boat. So what do we say if... Um, so what do you say if we don't want to die? You gotta be kidding me! Why do we gotta do such a thing? Oh, Tenko, this is like the worst thing ever. She's like, oh, degenerate males. She's like, if I can date girls, Himiko, I, I would go hide. <laughs> like, Tenko's gonna come for you. You're annoying. Quit shouting. This is way more mild than what I originally had planned for you. Plus, I'm not saying you gotta live here forever. Um, Does that mean you'll let us out of here? Hmm? Weren't you listening? I said this is a reality dating show. And just like those shows promise, the couple who ends up together gets to graduate. Oh, so do I only get to be with one person? Yeah, yeah. But uh, try to be quick about it, okay? Audiences get bored fast these days. If no one ends up together after 10 days, this show will be forced off the air. May I? And what will happen when the show ends? My, my. Maybe that's when he'll make us do the killing game. <laughs> okay, so uh... No pressure there, I got 10 days to be with someone, or else we all die. <laughs> Kids these days, always worrying about the futures of failure is a guarantee. Take chances, get messy, make mistakes, worry about failure when it happens. How nice! A reality dating show, that sounds so exciting. That'll give you a rager! Papa Kuma is on the pulse of society's trends. It's getting interesting! Pops is such a great capitalist, there's no idea he won't rip off to make a profit. And another thing. Oh, by the way, I know I said you guys just need to have a good time living here, but the romantic sparks won't fly if you guys just do whatever you want. The audience won't know who to watch if all 16 of you are just milling about. That's enough! Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Telling us to fall in love or whatever? What do you want us to do? Sure. Calm down, I'm about to explain. In other words... When you want to spend time with another student. Or in other words, when you want to go on a date, please exchange a date ticket. What's that? How do you go about obtaining one of these tickets? Unbelievable. I never said these tickets were free, did I? Wanting something gives it value. In other words, you gotta shell out cash for them. You guys have already seen a place on campus where you can earn cash, haven't you? Huh? Earn cash? That's right! I know, I know. I bet he's talking about the casino. Oh, snap! I gotta get the, uh, the key. Oh, I hope, I hope my, uh, my coins have rolled over. Because I had a lot of coins. Because I worked really hard to get those coins. I'm going to be so mad if I lost them all and I've got to get them again. Hey. Spoiler warning. <gasps> Oops. Uh-oh, Monofanny's gonna get punished by Pops. Be quiet. In a democracy, everyone shares the blame. Yeah! I feel so bad, this is all my fault. <laughs> no, it's democracy's fault. <laughs> now then, I can't wait to see what kind of hot and heavy hijinks you get into. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try not to be boring and just pursue one person, because that would be, like... I'm just, I'm curious about how this is going to be, because I do want to hang out with multiple people. That's what I liked about the uh, the second one, was that I could kind of just hang out with everybody, and eventually I was able to kind of get my friendship up with everybody. Sorry, so hopefully I can do that with this. I can just hang out with people and not feel so pressured. Because there was a time limit, you know, there was a day limit on the second one as well, and I was still able to do it as long as I got things right. I stood there dumbfounded with that maniacal laughing ringing in my ears. Everything here is maniacal and twisted. A school surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen imprisoned ultimates. These bizarre stuffed animals armed to the teeth. And on top of that, some kind of reality dating show. It's like they said, Chuichi, it could be worse. Without even a moment of respite, we became the cast of this twisted story. I also wonder if my friendship uh, things roll over because I'm almost done with Maki and Kaito. A lot of people actually, so that should make it a little bit easier, but obviously I didn't get to hang out with Kaede much. No, I didn't get to, like, as Kaede I got to hang out with Shuichi, but I didn't get to hang out with K 
Kaede as Shuichi. I hope that makes sense. So basically, I'd be starting at zero. And then Rantaro, too. I barely, like, I hung out with him once. With my mind still reeling, I struggled desperately to understand what happened. Yesterday wasn't a dream. It's real. It's all horribly real. And then I gotta figure out about the casino thing, make sure I got my coins, how to earn them, get those date tickets. There's no sense worrying about it. I should get my mind off of it. Just focus on what I can do. I made up my mind about it and forced myself to get out of bed. Alright, how should I spend my day today? Alright, here we go. We're getting right into it. Well, at least everybody's close by, it looks like, so I can just walk over and just choose who to hang out with. But like I said, Kaede is kind of like first priority because I miss my girl, I want to hang out with her, and I like Shuichi and her together. So at the end of the day, she's the one I want to end up with. It's weird having everybody back. There's just, there's so many people now. All right, so I'm looking for Kaede. Six hours later. Oh gee, she's right there. Okay, it's like people, it's like the um, the developers knew that we'd want to go right for Kaede, so they had her right at the beginning, but hidden, um, so she was right behind me. What's the matter? Do you feel like playing the piano? Oh, right. If that's the case, then I'll teach you. Oh, you don't need to feel bad or anything, okay? Um, when I teach, I notice my own bad habits on the piano. I still have a lot to learn. So I guess it's just going to be like our regular free time events, and then we can have the option to go out on the dates, which I still have to get coins for. Kaede did her best to teach me the piano. But I'm going to try and space it out so I'm not just focusing on one person the whole time. Oh, do I still have my gifts? I hope I've got everything. Okay, I do. The problem is now, uh, usually I've got my gift guide with me. Um to kind of help me out so that I don't risk losing a chance to get my relationships up. But I don't have it with me right now, so I'm going to assume she's going to like the Tattered Music score. Hey. Whoa, can I really have this? Thanks, I'm so happy right now. Shuichi. You really know what makes me smile, Shuichi, but I guess you would know what I like. Shuichi. Oh yeah, you don't know much about music, do you, Shuichi? That's true. I kind of follow the trends. I don't know anything about classical. I see. I guess that's true. Normal high school boys don't listen to classical music. Uh. But you've definitely heard of uh, Chopin, right? Okay. Yeah, he's pretty famous, so I've definitely heard of him. You know? Chopin composed many solos and was even referred to as the poet of the piano. That title might mean nothing to you at first, but you'll get it once you listen to his works. He always performed at concerts. Then. You perform too, right, Kaede? Of course. Of course. I personally enjoy pre uh, Prelude, op, op 28, number 15, or also known as the Raindrop Prelude. That's right. Oh yeah, speaking of Chopin, I mean, I love Kaede, but I hope it's not going to be all piano talk, because that is going to be a little mind-numbing. <laughs> I played the three waltzes, OP34, in front of a king before. Huh? A king? Yeah. Yeah, some European king. He had to keep his identity a secret. Huh? What? Why did he have to do that? Um, he saw my performance at an international competition on the news, so he came to Japan. Uh, um. Wow. <laughs> but he looked like your average Joe. Nothing like a king out of a fairy tale. I don't think a king would like to be called an average Joe. Uh. But he talked like a king. His speech and mannerisms were totally not this era. It is as if a god dwells within your fingers. Jeez. He knelt down when he said that. I was speechless. I don't know how to respond to that. Could it be... Did any other famous people come? Yeah. Yeah, sort of. A representative of Juilliard, famous pianist. I was really nervous back then. Like, what were they going to tell me after? But in the end, I performed my usual way and hope they enjoyed it. Hmm. That's incredible. You must be really amazing if you have fans like that. <laughs> no way, Shuichi. I'm an ordinary high school girl who just happens to be a piano freak. But... I don't think such important people would come to see an ordinary pianist. Well, you're the ultimate detective, Shuichi. One day you're going to get famous people requesting you to solve their cases. No, probably not. Oh my god, I got a long way to go with Kaede. I kind of picked a hard one here. If I need to get, like, 
my relationship all the way up in 10 days and I've chosen Kaede. This, this is like me playing on hard mode. Kaede and I parted ways and I returned to my room. I want to see if it's possible though. But at the same time, I might have screwed myself over because I also want to hang out with other people. Oh. Oh, shoot. I'm wondering, like, do I have to give up my free time to be able to go to the casino and get those coins so that I can actually buy the, um, the date tickets? And I still have to get the key as well. Okay, so the other person I want to hang out with is Rantaro. Oh, it's good to see you guys back for the most part. There are some people that I don't really care for. Gonta, good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Kurumi. Uh, Kyo. Uh, yeah. There there are some characters I probably won't hang out with, to be honest. Kivo, my boy, you did good. You did good at the end of the game. Proud of you. You're my bro now. Little, little Ryoma, it's, it's so easy to miss you. You're cool, too. Ah, uh, Rantaro, where are you? Like, they're in a relatively, like, packed, dense area, and yet I still can't seem to find certain people. Tenko would want nothing to do with me, so I'm not even gonna bother. I'm a male, she's not interested. <laughs> Angie, that's just gonna be a no for me, dog. One hour later... Oh my god, there you are. I did pass by you. What's wrong? How can I help you? No. Hey, it's all right with me if you don't want to talk about anything in particular. I'm just happy you wanted to spend time with me. That's sweet. I'd be upset if you only came to me when you wanted something. Rantaro and I spent some time relaxing, doing nothing. All right, now the tricky part. Uh, Rantaro, I really don't know much about him, so I like, and considering that his ultimate isn't really anything particular, like with Kaede, she's a pianist, so of course she would like a musical score, but like, ultimate survivor, what would the ultimate survivor like? So I am gonna refer to a gift guide for this, so I am kind of cheating a little bit. Okay, so he likes this one, Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail, and I do have quite a few of them, so why the heck not? Yeah. You've got something pretty interesting there. Where did you find it? And I guess I'm kind of stuck with the gifts that I have. I can't go get more, I don't think, unless I can get them at the casino as well. Oh, you're giving it to me? A present? <laughs> That's so sweet. You're being so nice to a guy that doesn't even know his own talent. You got me. I give up. Why is this happening to us? I have to say, if I, and I feel really weird doing because, like, they are high school students and I'm older, but I'm like, if I had to choose... I think Rantaro is the cutest. I just, I love his hair and his style, and I kind of want to hang out with him, even though I'm playing as Shuichi. That's... And also, he's mysterious. He doesn't like a guy who's a little mysterious, right? I'm not sure. They told us this was a school, but I have my doubts. Actually. Even if this was a school, it makes no sense to have a bear robot for a headmaster. Oh. Oops, I shouldn't say that. Kibo wouldn't like me saying something bad about robots. Well, there you go. Rantaro's not a robophobe, at least. <laughs> that is true. Ultimate robot. I never could have seen that coming. I guess anything goes. Maybe my talent is something really obscure, too. Uh, um, Rantaro, you still don't remember your talent? That's a shame. Yeah, it's a pain. Hmm. Everyone else remembers their talent, but why can't you remember yours? I wonder. Maybe I don't want to remember. Huh? Huh? How should I put this? Maybe I was brought here unwillingly. Maybe it was a mistake and I don't really have a talent. I mean, that's not impossible, right? Well, he's kind of on the ball with that one. It certainly isn't. I wasn't exactly brought here willingly, either. We're similar. I'm called the ultimate detective just because I happened to solve a case. Now that I think about it... Um... Hey, Rantaro, maybe you don't remember your specific talent. But you do remember everything from before you came here, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that stuff. I wouldn't have been able to introduce myself otherwise. Then... Well then, tell me everything that you remember. There may be a hint in there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I can't believe I didn't think of that. I guess I'm more shaken up than I thought. That's true. Um, where to begin? 
If I started up my childhood, this would take forever. Then... How about your favorite things? Perhaps your hobbies? Perhaps, uh, people become ultimates by devoting themselves to their hobbies and honing their skills. That's true. Then I'd have to say traveling. Huh? Traveling? Fine. Traveling is my hobby. Actually, I travel around the world by boat. Huh? On a boat? Whoa, that's amazing. No. No, I'm not the amazing one. My dad is. I just freeload on his boat. I'm, how do you put it? I guess you could say I'm a rich kid. My family is pretty wealthy. I sort of take my parents' boat and do whatever I want. <laughs> hey, he's got money too. There we go, another point for Retaro. Oh man, I sound like a spoiled brat, don't I? No. No, not at all. I'm just taken aback. I've never met a rich kid before. Mm, well, I help out with my family business too. I look for trading partners while I travel. Globe trotting like that, you make a lot of connections, you know. Could it be... Maybe you're something like the ultimate rich kid or the ultimate traveler. No. Nah, neither of those sound right. As far as rich kids go, there are plenty of people out there who are richer. And traveler? I don't know, that seems a bit too romantic for me. That means... Ultimate useless older brother sounds a lot more up my alley. Uh, um... Useless older brother? What do you mean? You have siblings, but... I'm sorry. Sorry, Shuichi, but I don't really want to talk about it. But... Never mind. Really? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even mentioned it. Forget it. Alright. I am going with the two people that I have the least friendship fragments. Unless it all resets. I'm not even sure about that. Maybe it does. Maybe... That would make more sense, right? That I... It all resets before... Like, during this mode, so you have to start from scratch? I'll have to look at that and see. Rentaro's smile somehow seemed pained. Man, that sucks though, like, unless you choose to hang out with Rentaro for every free time event, like, you never, you would never really learn about him very much. And same with Kaede, I mean, I know you were playing as Kaede, but you don't really, you didn't really learn much about her before she died. With the conversation stalled, I returned to my room. Alright, so there we go, day one is over. So, what do we do? Okay, here's the casino. So, yeah, I guess instead of, like, with the second one where it was, like, um... What's the word I'm thinking of? Like, um, resource gathering. Instead, it's casino. And thankfully, I do have my coins, so that's awesome. So, before I do anything, can I go and... Oh. No, I don't want to leave the casino. I do want to try and see if I can, like, earn some points. I haven't done the casino in so long, I'm gonna be so bad at this. Alright, well, the only game I remember really playing was the Salmon Fishing, and it's been a really long time since I've done this, so I'm probably gonna suck. Alright. And if I want to get more coins so that I can buy more of the keys, then I'm gonna have to do a max bet here. If anything, if I screw up, I can just, like, so I can just save, uh, save scum, and I can just do it over and over again until I get the, uh, you know, the max amount of coins. Okay, so there we go. Alright, let's, let's see how I do.
hell yeah! Woo, five times, awesome. Not too bad for my second try. All right, here we go. You try. You can trade coins for prizes. Key of love, there we go. Okay, so I don't have any. And they are 10,000 each, so I've got 77,000. So what I'll do is I will just buy one for now because I just need one, because it's one, one per day. So I just need one for now, and then I'll just use the rest of my coins and I'll just keep like trying to get as many as I can. So I have enough for seven right now, so out of ten days, so I need to get money to buy, be able to get three more. Okay, so date tickets, they only cost a hundred, so I'll get a couple. I have no idea what I'm doing with this, I'm just getting that. Okay, so there we go, we are good. Ooh. Oh, Hero shouldn't be asleep on the job. It's pathetic. Ah! What? Good morning. Although it's technically still night, do you feel re well rested anyway? Huh? Monokuma? Yeah. Nice face, Shuichi. You definitely look your best in the morning. Too bad. You could look better, though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? Ah! How rude. My time is very valuable, you know. Since you fell asleep, still clutching the love key. All right, here we go. We're doing the uh, the love event. I went out of my way to come to wake you. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, um... Love key? You mean this thing I won at the casino? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. I'll tell you how to use it. Huh? How to use it? <laughs> that key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Oh, right, that building. I suppose it would have this kind of key. Hmm? You look like you figured it out. Thrilling. Good, a healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. Now then. That key you've got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Huh? 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 Oh, are you starting to get worked up? Are you ready to let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. It's time for the talk, the love key talk. This is a key that is used to unlock the love suite. When night falls, you and one other person will be invited to the love suite. There you will be a part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal and basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as a kind of dream that lets you escape this cruel, dark reality. That's why it's so important to play that role that uh, play the role that person wants you to. If you do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. Oh no, so it's like the free time I have to choose the right thing or else it's gonna mess it up. And what happens there stays there. Memories are wiped when you exit. Well, at least it won't be awkward if I screw it up somehow. Or even if I don't screw it up and we don't have to look at each other the next day being like... Especially with certain characters, just like, oh god. It's like a one night stand within a dream. Probably best that you both forget it. Well then, that's it. Stay safe. Enjoy. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Who, who is it gonna be? Oh, you seem skeptical. Why don't you try it out for yourself then? Go ahead, take that love key out for a spin. <laughs> now then, let love, uh, let love take hold of you. It'll make you sweeter than a bear's honeypot. I watched Monokuma bounce away stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Hmm. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay, I'm so... I'm so inter- Of course I'm gonna use the love key. I'm so interested in who it's gonna be. Okay, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Ah, Angie! Man! She was one of the people I was hoping it wouldn't be. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. I wonder what Angie's, uh, Angie's fantasy is with her head always full of a Tua. Maybe I am a Tua. Yoo-hoo! Oh, but she acknowledges me as Shuichi, so... Hey, hey, Shuichi, I'm bored. Bored, 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 bored. And I'm annoyed, Angie. I'm annoyed, annoyed, annoyed that it has to be you. I outrank you, so if you don't do something about my boredom, I have to punish you. Uh, um... uh you outrank me? Of course, of course! That's right, I have seniority, because I'm older and wiser than you. 
Why are you pretending to play dumb? Is this a new game we're playing? No. Uh, no, not at all. We're the same age, but in Angie's fantasy, she has seniority? Oh, is she like to dominate people? Is she... <laughs> well, I have to act the part. I don't want- I don't want Angie to feel bad. Come on, come on! Look, Shuichi, look how bored I am. Atua has spoken. Atua says a low rank who lets a high rank be bored gets points deducted. Uh, um... Uh, um, well then, what should we do? Or what should I do? Before I could concoct a plan, Angie gave me an answer of sorts. Yaha! Hey, yeah! Slam. Uh. Angie slammed her body into me, knocking me over. Bam! Wait! Wait, Angie, what are you doing? The bed creaked as we toppled onto it. I tried to get to my feet, but. <laughs> gotcha, Shuichi! Angie giggled like a schoolgirl. She straddled my knee. Uh, well, more like my thigh. Hey! Angie, you're not a kid. Get off! This is a divine bed. I think we can have fun here. Damn, she's going all for it. <laughs> she's like, this is a dream. I'm just going to act like nothing has consequences. Nope, she's not listening. Hey, hey, Shuichi. Angie peeked at me with teasing eyes. Uh... What's poking me? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? what could it be? I don't know. I don't know. What indeed? Please, no jokes like that while we're in this position. Well then. Hey, Shuichi, I want to play some more. Uh, um... W what are you trying to play? Uh... Oh, you know, the usual. Since you won't come up with something fun to do, we'll play the usual game. Huh? The usual? Eh? You're still not used to our game. I... But that's okay. You always do whatever I tell you, Shuichi. Oh, she definitely isn't too like a domination thing. <laughs> she wants a little bitch boy. Yeah. That's what I like about you the most. Ugh. Maybe she wants to feel like she's a god of, of sorts. Angie leaned forward and embraced me. Of course, with the way she was positioned, her chest pushed right against my face. Wait! Uh, um, uh, Angie, you're touching... Uh, yep. I know. I'm doing it on purpose. Huh? What? Because... I like you, Shuichi. I like watching you get filled with divine fervor. Angie straightened her body, peeking down at me with an impish smile. I recognized that smile, but it felt a bit naughtier than usual. So? Hey, Shuichi, what do you want it, uh, what do you want me to do to you today? Huh? What do I want you to do? I... I want to see you get filled with divine fervor, just like this. Huh? <laughs> this music doesn't seem fitting, like this is more like a heartfelt moment if we're like, we're telling each other secrets or things about ourselves <laughs> rather than this. A shiver ran through my body. Angie's fingertips danced against the nape of my neck. Uh, um... What are you doing? <laughs> you like that, huh, Shuichi? I know you do. Atua told me so. Still smiling, her fingers began tracing over my body, lower, lower still. Angie is small. I could probably throw her off me if I wanted to. But those fingers, I felt totally helpless. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! You can't talk to a high rank like that! Atua will get angry, you know. <laughs> so I'll punish you instead. I'll mete out punishment in Atua's place. Yeah, she likes to punish, eh? Angie, hey, Angie, enough! You're so cute, Shuichi. I'm the only one who gets to see the side of you. This feels so wrong. I feel like it should be Kaede, not Angie. <laughs> <laughs> More awkward, this would be... There are certain characters where I'm just like, this would be even more awkward. That's enough punishment for you. It seems Atua is satisfied. That's a relief. She was getting pretty close. Now it's your turn. Make sure I have lots of fun, okay? Huh? Time to play, Shuichi. Play until we've reached sweaty salvation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, okay. So even though I'm not a fan of Angie, like I am so excited to see what other characters, what the other characters ones are gonna be. Ah, and I get to do nine more of these. This is awesome. Well, assuming I can get the coins for it. What, is it morning already? Last night with Angie, was that a dream? But I can still feel her there. So he does remember the dream, so it's not like a complete wiping of the memory. And I get 100 coins, nice. 
All right, guys, so that will wrap it up for this first episode of the Across the Universe Team Salmon Love Mode. I can't remember what it's called. If you guys have any tips and tricks about how to maximize my efficiency on this mode or what I can do to, you know, be able to win, I guess, please let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's any particular people that you would like to see the love event with. I am going to try and keep it randomized unless um, I get the same person over and over because I want to try and spread the love, you know, to everybody. Uh, but let me know, like, which love event you would love most like to see or which one that you you personally like. I am very curious about that. And uh, I hope to catch you guys in the next episode. Until next time, bye.